everyone, welcome to Storytime. My name is Erin, and I have a story I'd like to share with you. It's called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. This is one of my favorite winter books to read. Now you may notice this big shiny gold sticker on the cover. That is the Caldecott Medal, which is given to picture book illustrators to commemorate their outstanding work. The Snowy Day received the Caldecott Medal for its unique collage illustrations. We're going to learn more about collages later and maybe even make one of our own. But for now, let's listen to the story. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out, like this. He walked with his toes pointing in, like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow plop on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels. pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother, all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. I hope you enjoyed listening to the snowy day. Did you have a favorite part? I know my favorite part was when Peter made different shapes in the snow with his feet. Now, if you look very closely, you may see that lots of pictures in this book are made up of smaller pictures, such as circles or rectangles. This is called a collage. Lots of little shapes come together to make one big picture. Now let's try to make our own. To make your very own snowy day scene, you'll only need a few items. You will need blue paper, red paper, white paper, a few other pieces of paper in whatever color you choose, something to write with, scissors, please make sure a trusted adult is present when you're using your scissors, glue or tape, and a Peter-shaped stencil. 
The stencil I used can be found in the description of the YouTube video. To begin making your snowy day scene, first cut out the Peter-shaped stencil, or draw a person freehand, whatever you'd like. Next, trace and cut out your person on the red paper. You may need an adult to help you with this step. After you cut out your person, set it aside for a little while. Next, rip your white paper into large strips and attach it to the blue paper. It should look similar to the snowy mountains seen in the book, like this. You can then attach your person in the middle of the snowy mountain. If you would like, you can make some buildings covered in snow in the background. And then you'll be all done. I hope you've enjoyed listening to this snowy day and making your own snowy day scene. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. Now, if you'd like to read The Snowy Day by yourself at home, it is available to check out from the Public Library for Union County in Lewisburg. While you're on their website, which will be linked in the description of this video, you can check out all of their cool children's activities and programs, as well as their huge children's library. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week.